Hello again, everyone. This is Bruce Ann, and I am with the 7th Cavalry Gaming Clan. Uh, and today, I will be going over episode 4 of the basic flight evaluation. So, um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, uh, go, go ahead and go back and look at them. But today, we'll be going over the Dorita Wire course. And basically, you start here, uh, 202129, uh, right at the end of this road here. Luckily, on the Alpha Charlie joint section practice, we have a nice little uh, convenient spawn point here, so that helps. But, anyway, uh, you basically follow this road down, make a right turn here, and the point of these, you want to go under these power lines that you can see marked here on the map. Power lines, um, more power lines, and every time that you go under them, you have to announce, just as you go under, going under wires. Uh, you don't have to do it over the radio, but just to the instructor that's in your uh, helicopter with you is fine. Or whatever they say. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, then you're gonna come, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna come over the turn and land in this little uh, this little courtyard right there. And right here, from this around this turn to this stretch, you have to be going 100 kilometers per hour under these wires, then you can slow down. So I haven't done this in a, in a probably a couple months since uh, my basic flight evaluation, and I only did it for the two times, you know, right, <laughs> for that, so, uh, forgive me if this isn't perfect, but this will give you the basic idea. <coughs> so I'm going to spool up. You will have an instructor, I don't, right here, but that's fine. So just take off, and you want to stay below the treetop level, that's uh, the point here, so. So probably keep it under 3 meters if possible, maybe 5. You know what, they let me keep it under 8 meters for my exam, I think. Maybe 6 six meters. Let's go with keep it under 6 or 7 meters. So you don't have to follow the curves of these these roads exactly. You can kind of cut the corner short like I just did right there. And uh, there's, no, there's no real lower speed in here. Wires, and there you go, under the wires. So, uh, go over here. I hope I'm going the right way. Uh, well, that's going to If you press H on your little tablet, uh, and you have the regular tablet equipped, it brings up that little thing there, so. So, I'm going to come up here, come around this right turn, so you'll just notice how the power line's coming up. Going under wires. There we go. And we want to come around here. And you want to get to 100 before you go to this next set. Which really isn't that fast, it's just kind of naturally your set there, so. You gotta be going over 100 by the time you hit the, this thing. Then you can slow right back down, but don't gain too much altitude. So slow under wires. Oop, I missed that one. I missed a few points. Um, slow back down without gaining too much altitude. So just slowly uh, tilt the nose up. Lower your collective. And you slow down. You don't have to be going as fast as I'm going right here. Right turn here, right turn. Here. Oh, a little shaky. Going under wires. Now, people get freaked out about, um, you know, they're in their exams naturally about staying right on the uh, right turn. But they get freaked out about staying exactly on the road, stick, you know following the path exactly, not breaking the height meter, and, you know, if, if you're going to break something like that, you know, the height barrier, if you're going to break it, cut the turn a little early, I feel like it's better to just let, it's, it's always better to break the altitude ceiling, to deviate from the course a little bit, to save the aircraft. If, if you're going to crash, um, anything is better than crashing, essentially is what I'm saying, so whatever you have to do to not crash. If you're going to hit that bush and you have to go over the bush, 
and just go over the bush because I'm sure you're going to lose a few points, but you won't crash. Going anywhere. So uh, I'm not sure, but I think it might start. It might be time to start doing the advanced flight eval stuff. I think I may have covered it all, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.